example, this is the stock market. And they've trapped the uh, bulls on this breakout here. And now they're pulling it back. So anybody that bought this breakout of either the close or the very top. And then this is the, uh, the bottom inside the top. And we just ricocheted off of that. It looks like the stock market is finally going to unravel. There's no nothing going on in the United States. Here's the monthly. So, you know, you got to believe it's going to be a little bit rocky. And we're, if we're failing to come up to this top here, I'm doing my projections. Because if you did this projection off of here, we've, we've achieved that uh, price. And then the next one would have been this off of this. We take that off the highest close within there, which is there. I just don't think we're going up there, but look at this. Never took a breath on the monthly. Here's the weekly. Definitely do to take out this trend line here. But this being kind of inverted to the euro dollar, which has been going the other way, it's been gaining gaining speed here. If you go to the daily and look at the price projections on the daily, originally project here. And now we've even got a little higher projection. So if we go off of that, and now if we take and put one of those over here now, between the last known low, well, we just kind of just take this and, and swing it out off of, so that now we're going to notch it off of this. This is actually a higher, um, because we would take this guy up and project it off of that. So you get like a spiral out into space in the future there. So now, but conservatively, this would be the first exit around 16, you know, 160, $1.16, $1.16.50. And then this is the next one. It's going to be up here. Now I go to the weekly and see where that is in the weekly world. Well, it's not even up to here. What's we're we're going to here, obviously, right? Going to go to a dollar or twenty-two, but we have to take chunks out along the way. And this is a this is going to be a big contention price up here. Well, certainly this would be where they're going to want to grab all the orders there at one fourteen, sixty, and then they're going to want to rip it all the way back, which is what they're doing right now in the Dow Jones. They came up and grabbed this. They grabbed all all the. Uh, now they're going to rip it back. Maybe, maybe even hopefully rip it back through this thing, and get to a bit realistic price on that. Um, it's ridiculous the price that's going for. So in the meantime, I'm selling the um, irrational exuberance going into the top of this, off of this um, a dollar. Looks like a dollar uh, fourteen up here. Dollar thirteen looks like a no-brainer for today. Go bounce off that dollar thirteen here, and um, if it pulls back into the where it broke out, I'll definitely be a buyer down back in here. Got this beautiful uh, double bottom on the four-hour. Everything got really quiet, and there was a, just a great breakout trade there. Breaking out of this congestion zone. Once we took out this, and this is only 10 pip uh, handles here. So I'm going to sell up into this thing. I think they're going to go after this stop next. I'm sure the bear's got to stop in here. And uh, 
Yeah, the bears walked down this stairway here on the four hour. And here was the price projection coming off the top. That top, find the lows close inside. So they didn't quite make their target there. And we go turn around, go the other way. Once you broke this trend line here, that channel broke out. Of course, there's a big there was a big vacuum forming up in here. So we filled that vacuum. It was like that, and now I don't know if we could make it up to this thing. This might be a, a bridge too far up here. You have to come back and catch his breath before we hunt down this area. But of course, I can slice right through that. Right now, I'm on the smaller time frame uh, because we just went up for a half an hour, like some insane 50 pip, 70 pip run there. But we haven't made a lower low on the dailies, I mean the weeklies. And on the daily, we chopped the, uh, we, we made a double bottom here on the daily, right there. Not quite, but in RSI terms, if you put RSI on here, this is more oversold than this, but it's at a higher price. And the ultra conservative projection on that would be to take the difference between these two and hang it off of this highest. So at least in a range trading sense, there's a um, a target price here, one thirteen sixty four, and we would expect it to get there around that time too because this price pulse here, um, typically. If you hang it off of this, you get a nice balanced, uh, a balanced move like you, you did down. See so off of this, if you take these two highs, and you cop, and then you just well, you don't have to copy it if you're running the, uh, but you go like that, and you're, you're getting to the price, and you're getting to there on the same time. Of course, you went through it, but just in terms of having a hard target, um, and in, th in this interval here, um, how many days that might be? Well, like 20 days or something. And then you've got the, uh, if you just did a, a linear, like how long is it going to take to get there based on the last cycle? If this is your last cycle from this bottom to this bottom then you would just hang it off of this so you're expecting to get there at least by here for for that move of course that, that pulls it back about a day when you tilt it but you got that on the daily you got the target here made and um, I guess that the, the uh, you got to hold this trend line now coming into the future. The other trend line's way out here, so you could technically pull all the way back to this double top before we might have to do that before we really go up. But it seems like it's it's in a panic mode now because of what's happening in the stock market, and this would be the one hour. Dow Jones, 30 stocks. I think Apple's in there now, so I think Apple's cooked. Apple's done. We finally reached uh, um, critical mass or what saturation point on that uh, on that Apple thing. Come on, Windows 10's coming out, people. Obviously, um, it's impractical to have some toy at this point. So, I mean, Apple really. How many apps can people run and just get lost? I mean, there's no production. There's nobody's working anymore. Come on, people. Looks like we're gonna make we're gonna make a vault through. Then we're gonna chase down this um, this this wick here. Those bulls want to go grab all that, and I think rip it back, and then maybe we'll just be in the doldrums here. We'll be in like a little. Um, up and down chatter zone for the next um, 
few hours here.